What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to be back on the Civic and we're going to be finally putting the lift kit in and starting to make it a bit of an overland vehicle to go camping in. Nothing like Jeeps or anything like that, but something you can just drive down some dirt roads and go camping in the woods with. So I'm going to start off, if you look at uh, one of my other videos, it'll be up in the corner here. The rear springs, I use the sleeves from the uh, lowering kit I had in it. And then the shock wouldn't let the uh, lift work because the shock stretched all the way out. So I got this exhaust pipe to make some spacers for the shocks to allow them to come down. To be able to get the lift in the back. And then Honda Rescue Garage, shout out to them. I'll have a link in the description for their stuff there. I'm not sponsored by them or nothing. I just let them know I'll do a little shout out for them. If you're looking for lift kits for Honda Civics or any type of Honda they do quite a bit of them anyways got the spacers from them inch and a half for the front struts so what I'm gonna do is get the rear coils out and I'm not gonna bother showing that because I did a whole video on that if you want to check that out later but I'm gonna put the springs in and then I'm gonna start making the spacers for the shocks and get them in and hopefully get the back lifted up and then put the front ones in and get the front lifted up. That'll be tomorrow because it's getting kind of late tonight. I'd like to get the back done. And then tomorrow once the front's lifted, we'll adjust the back to where it looks level. And see how we make up with that. Anyways, I'm going to get the back springs out. Get these new ones in. They're quite a fight to get out and put back in. Especially when they're new. And then we will be back to do the spacers for the rear. And see what kind of mess we can get in. So I got the... New spring in there, got the spacer back in. I'm just gonna make this spacer for the top, for the uh, shock there. It's just so it'll bring it down a little lower because before the shock was stretched all the way out so it wouldn't allow everything to come down. And that's what, probably what broke the coil and there's 300,000 kilometers on the car. Yeah, this threaded part sticks out of out into the trunk about two inches so I'm gonna cut a piece at two inches weld a washer on it and then put it in there and see how much threads I have out the top and then I can just trim it off from there yeah I got the exhaust pipe here I'm gonna mark it at two inches I'm gonna take the uh, recip cut it and weld some washers on the bottom of that so I'll get uh, cutting and welding So what I got here, a piece of exhaust pipe for the spacer for the shock. I'm going to weld this washer on just so it's not a sharp edge on the rubber bushing. When it sits in there, get that tacked together and weld it up. That'll be my spacer for the rear shock. There, got that welded up. Now I just need to clean it off, test fit it, see how it works, and then get some paint on it. Well, we got the new spring in there. Got the spacer up in the top there, as you can see. Got that bolted on, just fit at two inches. And yeah, now I'm gonna put the wheel back on, lower the car down and see where it sits on this side compared to the other and then I will move on to the other side so I'll get the wheel on and see what it looks like so 
So this side, I got down on the off the jack. Got about uh, what was a five eighths a little higher on this side than the other. Now, obviously, I got to drive it around to get it to level out, kind of thing. When I'm all done, and then probably bring it in and adjust it up or down. Well, I can't go down actually because the spacer is all the way down. But go up if I can. And if it is higher on the back than the front, it's not a big deal. And Anyways, I'm going to get the other side done, and then we will move on to the front. If the other side goes as easy as this did, which is first for everything, I will get to it tonight and get those spacers in. shouldn't take too long. I've had these struts out three or four times now. But yeah, I'm going to do the other side, move on to those fronts. So we got the back lifted up. Got that all finished, both sides. only took me about an hour or so. I did have to run down to the store. And this side's all done. Like I say, I'll have to drive it around, see where it settles, and then line it up with the front. But it's time to move on to these front spacers. Hopefully I won't have too much trouble putting them in, trying to get that uh, strut jammed in there. Get the front jacked up and get it lifted. <laughs> There, we got our spacer on. Now it's time to jam it back in the car and see what kind of lift we get out of it. Well, we are back the next day. Got some sun out. It's just about to come out. The car's done. So you can see the wheel gap there quite a bit. But yeah, it's about a quarter inch higher in the back without adjusting those. So I'm just going to leave it right where it's at. I'm going to let it run it uh, for a little while see how the tires wear before I buy some new ones but I'm gonna go with the uh, all-terrain truck tire on it in the future here probably about a month see how these wear out see what an alignment is gonna need stuff like that but hopefully you guys enjoyed leave a comment like and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one <laughs>